Hey YouTube, it's Zion Prepper here. And let me get down here so you can see. And we're going to do a quick video. I get a lot of questions on ham war hand warmers, excuse me. And people want to know what's in them and why do they last so long? You know, in other words, uh, why do they pr produce so much heat for a long period of time? So I'm just going to look on the back and right there, right there is the, uh, is the ingredients in them. And I'm just going to write them down and I'm going to show you what each of them does. The first one is iron. Second one is water. This is cardboard, by the way. Third one is uh, salt, cellulose, vermiculite. and activated carbon and I'm just going to call it carbon CRB one okay so what you have first of all the iron if all of you are chemistry nerds like I am iron on the periodic table is FE this is what produces your heat this is why they get hot water is where the iron is the irons in water so water is a medium the medium is where this happens. So uh, the iron is getting hot in the water. Here we're going to put salt. Salt is NaCl uh, from a chemical perspective. Sodium chloride, that's table salt. So anytime you hear table salt, this is what it is. Th in this case, the salt is what we call a catalyst. Catalyst is something that is used in a reaction but not consumed in, the re in a reaction. The best example I can give you of that is you take a pot of water and you set it on your stove. You want it to boil. It doesn't boil until you apply heat to it. Once you apply heat, it boils. So heat is a catalyst. All it does is boil the water. It's not part of anything else. When you turn that water, that heat off, it's done. That's what uh, a catalyst does, and that's what sodium chloride does. Okay, so we've got iron, water, salt. Um, let's go to carbon. Carbon is nothing but charcoal, right? And all charcoal does is retain heat. It retains the heat. So when this heat is produced, the charcoal says, hey, I'll hold the heat for you. All right? So now we have vermiculite. Vermiculite is an insulator. So it's like the insulation you have in your attic. It makes sure that the heat, no, uh, no additional cold comes in and no heat leaves. So the carbon says, hey, I'll hold the heat. Vermiculite says, I'll make sure you hold the heat. And the last one is cellulose right here. Cellulose. You can see, let's pretend this in here, you see all these empty gaps. So let's pretend everything around these letters is an empty gap. Cellulose fills in all those empty gaps. And the reason it does that is it makes the chemical reaction more efficient. And number two, it helps to retain the heat better. All right, so iron produces the heat. Water, that's where the reaction takes place. Salt, it's a catalyst that makes the reaction occur quicker. Uh, carbon, it retains the heat. Vermiculite, that's the insulation to make the heat is make sure the heat's retained. And cellulose, cellulose says, hey, I'll fill up any voids or any spaces you have in there to make sure that it's a more efficient reaction and, and the heat can uh, last longer. And because of that, these guys can last up to 10, hour, ooh, 10 hours. That's why. So now you can explain to all your friends how that works. Um, hadn't done a video in a while, so I thought that was kind of nerdy. But Zion Prepper saying thanks for watching. And uh, as usual, I really do appreciate it.